They should not be deported. Oh, okay. Why would you say that, ma'am? Well, they're, if they live in America, they're, they have an opinion, right? I tell you who should be deported. A freaking president. It's a country of laws. Yes. It's not just a, about reaction because everybody was mad. I was really mad that day. They are part of the problem, mm. and maybe they need to be deported. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Washington, D.C. And as you can see behind me, we have brought along our Jumbotron equipped truck. It's to send a message, and that message is deport Hamas. And what we mean by that, as you know, folks, on October 7th, Israel suffered an unbelievable terrorist attack. It left over 1,400 people dead, more than 4,200 wounded more than 200 people kidnapped, and those people remain hostages to this day. And what did we see in the aftermath of this carnage? In cities across America, across Europe, even Australia, thousands would gather, including foreign nationals, people who aren't even citizens, and show their support for terrorism, and for terrorist organizations. That's right, they weren't out there to condemn Hamas. They were there to support it. Just days after Israel suffered, when you look at their population as a percentage, multiple 9-11s on a single day. In fact, more Jews died on October 7th in one day since the Holocaust. Unbelievable. And really, this behavior has to stop, folks. We have invited these people into our countries, into our cities, into our academic institutions. And what do we have? We have them demonstrating for the annihilation of Jews, for the destruction of the state of Israel. There is only one solution. There is only one solution. This is just so over the top. It makes you wonder, are we in 2023 in Western democracies or are we in Berlin, Germany, circa 1938? And that's why we're here in Washington, D.C. We are taking our message on the road. A few days ago, my cameraman Lincoln Jay and I, we were in New York City. We're also going to be going to Ottawa and Toronto and heck, we might even take our show on the road to European cities to state the message that this kind of behavior by people who aren't even citizens is completely unacceptable. Indeed, if you are a foreign national supporting a terrorist organization and the act of terrorism, then it's time to pack your bags. It's time to leave. And we want to send that message to the people in charge. So please, folks, if you can, go to deporthamas.com. That's deporthamas.com. And while you're putting your name to our petition, if you're able to, can you help us out with the rental of these trucks? These trucks typically cost about $2,000 a day. And as you know, we don't receive any government funding, nor would we accept it if offered. So please, once again, go to deporthamas.com. Dot com, put your name on that petition, and if you're able to, make a donation. In the meantime, we're going to drive this truck around the streets of Washington for the next eight hours, and the message is clear. Let's make deportation great again. Should those people be deported? No. Oh, okay. And why would you say that, sir? Because this is a free country, and they have a f freedom to the First Amendment, right? My opinion, no. I mean, I feel like this is land of the free. Everybody's voice should be heard. They should not be deported. Oh, okay. Why would you say that, man? Well, they're, if they live in America, they're, they have an opinion, right? Just because of where they say the opinion, they shouldn't be kicked out of a country. If they're standing for evil and war and what's not right, they're part of the problem. Mm. And maybe they need to be deported. This is America. Okay. People have a right to have an opinion. You know, and if, if their opinion upsets you, that's what free speech is about.
the rights of freedom of uh, speech should not be infringed upon. So um, the First Amendment would have to be eradicated for that to happen. Well, it depends on the law. As long as they're peaceful, I don't care what people demonstrate over. No, of course not. No? No. Okay. What do you mean by support? Well, when they're out in the streets. Oh, actually. no, absolutely. I tell you who should be deported. A freaking president who takes our freaking tax money and send uh, uh, weapons to Israel so they can continue their genocide. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who should be deported. Well, I totally get First Amendment rights, but that's the thing, sir. They're not citizens. They're foreign nationals. They don't have American citizenhood. So, so why should they get deported? You tell me why. I don't, think, I don't think there's rationale for that. They may be wrong at what they're saying, okay. but that does not uh, qualify them to be extradited or expelled. Do you think the First Amendment should apply to those people who are guests in our countries? Well, we'll take these people's taxes, we'll help, they'll contribute to our economy. So we'll, we'll accept them then, why are we not accepting them now? You know, our point of view is we welcome them into our countries, our cities, their guests, and then they go out and support terrorist groups, it doesn't seem right. <laughs> it doesn't seem right, but it's this land of the free, ain't it? That would not fit your benchmark of deportation then? Correct. Okay. Uh, that does not take away the evil of Hamas. Yes. And what they have done to Israel. And remember, this is Hamas. This is not all the Arabs, it's not the Palestinians, it's a terrorist group within a people. Because they're not citizens, do they have First Amendment rights? don't need to rights? deport people just because they express their opinion. I don't agree with terrorism whatsoever. I'm a human rights activist. Okay. But do they have the right to speak it? We have the right to use our intelligence to call it out too. Because then we also have the right to speak, calling out any acts of terrorism. For starters, I haven't seen any demonstration in favor of Hamas. I've seen really? Yeah. I've seen plenty. There might happen someplace. I haven't seen any. You want to expel people or uh, uh, deport them for, for their right to free speech. But as a foreign national, they're not protected no, but, under the First Amendment. They are, they, well, so, no, so, they're not. Oh, they're, they're, they're not citizens, oh, sir. So what, what does that matter? This is America. You know, <laughs> it has, it's a country of laws. Yes. It's not just a, about reaction because everybody was mad. I was really mad that day. Yeah. I really want to do something bad just in retaliation, but it's a country of laws. It just depends. I think we should just end, like, we, like both sides should cease fire. I wouldn't, like, put a terrorist label. They are, they are doing bad things. They are killing children. Both sides are wrong. Okay. But I think people have a right to speech, and that's a natural right. That's a universal right. So they shouldn't be kicked out of a country just because of that. Just going around the horn, everyone agrees with this lady here? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, folks, you never know what kind of billboard truck you're going to bump into in Washington, D.C. And lo and behold, look at this one. It is a truck advocating for hashtag bring them home. These are the hostages that the Hamas terrorists took. Look at them. Most of them children. Ella, age eight, abducted from her home. Aviv, age two, also abducted from her home. This is outrageous. And you know, the thing is, folks, these posters of these Israeli children kidnapped by these Hamas terrorists, they've been going up in cities all over the world. They've been going up in the halls of academia, but only briefly because the pro-Hamas supporters tear these posters down. They consider this propaganda. They consider this hate speech against Hamas. Are you kidding me? And for that reason, they tear down posters of innocent children. Look at this kid, aged nine months. They tear those posters down because this is uh, what Jewish conspiracy propaganda. Unbelievable. I'm so happy to see that somebody is taking a righteous stance to bring these innocent Israelis back home. Well, folks, as we wrap our Washington, D.C. mission, we couldn't help but notice the building behind me. It's the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. And lo and behold, there's a special exhibit on right now. It's called Americans and the Holocaust. What did Americans know? 
and what more could have been done? Two excellent questions indeed. But in the here and now, isn't it perversely ironic what we're seeing in the streets of so many American cities? We see demonstrators coming out not to condemn Hamas, but to honor it, to support it. And this in light of October 7th, in which Israel experienced multiple 9-11s given the size of its population. And to me, it's tragic. I think a lot of those people, so many of them foreign nationals and on student visas, if you're supporting Hamas, well, you're likely denying the Holocaust as you try as hard as possible to manufacture another. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. It's outrageous, isn't it? Foreign nationals, people who are guests in our nations, in our cities, advocating for terrorist organizations, advocating for terrorism. No, they've got to go. Please go to deporthamas.com. That's deporthamas.com. Send a message to those in charge to get these people out of our countries. And while you're at it, if you can make a donation to cover our costs, we would greatly appreciate that.